Welcome everyone, my name is Phantom, so let's get straight to it. Whether you like it or not, supply drops are here to stay in Call of Duty in both the multiplayer and the zombies because that's been a thing for a few years now and, well, no matter how much you complain or you like it or not, it makes Activision money and they're going to continue to implement it into every Call of Duty so say next year's Call of Duty, say it's a Vietnam one like everyone thinks for some reason, as do I, I don't know why, I mean there's no hints or teasers, that's just what everyone thinks and we'll just go along with it, okay? So say next Call of Duty is going to revive the series, right, and it's going to be the best one yet, you know, all that stuff, but supply drops are in it, people won't be happy about that, but it's going to happen, so how can we make supply drops, let's discuss this, how can we make supply drops as I guess as good as they can be. Now I don't want to go on and rant for this too long because I've tried this video a few times and I just keep going on and it's really boring so I'm going to be quick and straight to the point. So number one, no variants. So like I think Advanced Warfare had and Infinite Warfare has, there should just be the base guns, there shouldn't be other versions that are better than the other ones because I mean that's sort of pay to win. Maybe there should just be customizable thing, so maybe you could put a ghillie wrap on your gun, maybe there could be uh, new reticles for your sights, new camos, that you can get out supply drops, but they're not just in supply drops, you can unlock them by other means, I mean, I think that's just the most fair and best system, I don't get why they wouldn't just do that. The next thing, don't lie to us, don't say, okay, it's just going to be camos, it's just going to be cosmetic things like emblems and calling cards, and then add weapons later on, because they've done that like with, they did that with Black Ops 3 and they're probably going to do that with Modern Warfare Remastered, so just just don't say you're going to do something and then you're just completely lying. And then the next thing, if they're going to add new weapons in, which they will, don't just make them in supply drops like what Black Ops 3 did, so you have to pretty much pay to get new weapons. I mean, that's a pretty terrible idea. I mean, yeah, put them in supply drops, put the new weapons in supply drops, that's good, but make sure that there are other ways to get it by, I don't know, completing challenges with other guns or, I don't know, just something along those lines. So, next year, like I said, we're guessing it's going to be a Vietnam Call of Duty, so the supply drops has to fit this Vietnam setting, if that is indeed correct. So, instead of keys or crypto keys, we could have dog tags, you know, those things that military people wear that have their name and their information. So when they die, I don't know if that's actually just what they're used for, but when they die, they're taken off so people know who they are. So, I don't know, that could just be used as the currency system, I guess, and the supply drops. You know, you could have a cool menu where it's in, like, a, a military base and there's, like, planes and stuff, similar to the Modern Warfare Remastered one. And then, zombies. So, supply drops are in zombies. They're in Black Ops 3 and they're in Infinite Warfare, but I don't see people from the zombies community complaining about it, and... Me neither, I don't think it's a bad system with zombies, I think it's okay, so I think that should just stay as it is, I mean, it's not going to go anywhere, so let's just make it as best as possible. So down below, if you like supply drops, or if you don't like supply drops, tell me down below, and also tell me which game you think did it best, which game had the best system for supply drops. Personally, I think it's Modern Warfare Remastered as of right now, because most of the things that you get out supply drops you can get by other means. So, if you did enjoy the video, leave a like, uh, subscribe for more classic, just absolute classic videos like this one. It was amazing, pretty boring, but amazing.